Welcome back everybody. This is last news from Dolphins. NFL analyst protect Tua Tungavailoa from all criticism, he said the criticism is unwarranted. Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer has had himself a busy pro days. Dolphins slipped to 15th in updated 2021 NFL power rankings cause of Jacoby Brissett trade. Wide receiver addressed by the Miami Dolphins but draft is getting close. Each day I bring to you last news from Miami Dolphins at 8 a.m. on NatFL channel, subscribe for more video, thank you. NFL analyst protect Tua Tungavailoa from all criticism. Former star Alabama quarterback Tua Tungavailoa was highly praised while with the Crimson Tide. He was considered the top quarterback in the 2020 draft class until LSU's Joe Burrow had such a fantastic final season. Nonetheless, Tunga Vailoa was still drafted number 5 overall to the Miami Dolphins. Now, with one season under his belt, he prepares for season number 2. However, fans and some analysts are questioning his abilities. There were talks of Tunga Vailoa being traded and rumors that the Dolphins may look to draft another quarterback with their top 3 draft pick in 2021. In his rookie season, he appeared in 9 games, starting 10 of them. His stats were not too impressive, only tallying up 1,814 yards with a 64.1 completion percentage with 11 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. Are those numbers that guarantee him a spot in Canton, Ohio? Spot in Canton, Ohio? Certainly not, they still do not raise any red flags about his potential, though. He was a rookie fresh off of a season-ending hip injury from the prior year, thrusted into the starting role midway through the season with a lackluster surrounding cast. What was he expected to do? He nearly led the Dolphins to the playoffs with a final record of 10-6. NFL analyst Dan Orlovsky is tired of hearing all of the hate. On NFL Live, Orlovsky went on a passionate rant about how the criticism is unwarranted and is solely based in the fact that he does not mirror NFL star Patrick Mahomes. I need someone to tell me what he can't do, said Orlovsky. There's no telling what the future holds for Tunga Vailoa in 2021. However, the team has brought in new co-offensive coordinators, a new star-wide receiver in Will Fuller and will likely utilize their two first-round pick. Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer has had himself a busy pro days. Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer has had himself a busy week. On Tuesday, Greer was listed among eight NFL general managers in attendance at the Alabama Pro Day from Tuscaloosa a stop that was loaded with no less than a dozen NFL draft prospects that could be viable contributors to Miami's roster in 2021 and beyond. But Greer's week featured a second straight day in SEC country on Wednesday, as it was reported that Greer was among NFL decision-makers to head north to Columbia for a visit to South Carolina. The Dolphins' roster will not be an easy projection for the star of Wednesday's South Carolina Pro Day, cornerback J.C. Horn. The Dolphins appear all set their thanks to the presence of Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, 2020 first-round pick Noah Igbenogany, Justin Coleman, Nick Needham and former cornerbacks Eric Rowe and Bobby McCain currently penciled into starter roles at safety. Horn was magnificent yesterday, putting an exclamation point on his NFL draft resume after a strong season with the Gamecocks in 2020. Horn, the son of former NFL wide receiver Joe Horn, checked in at 6'1", 205 pounds and logged a 4.39 s 40 yard dash a 41.5 vertical and a standing broad jump of 11 feet one inch yet unless something dramatic happens with miami's cornerback room between now and the 2021 nfl draft next month horn isn't likely to be a fit for the dolphins at least not now that he's going to carry a top half of the first round projection but greer very easily could have been eyeing up other talents for april including shifty wide receiver She Smith and physical linebacker Ernest Jones. The SEC consistently churns out the most NFL draft prospects, so it shouldn't be a surprise to see Greer continuing to hit the road for these critical pro day events and take them in for himself. What he, what he ultimately chooses to do with the information collected there will define Miami's next NFL draft class next month. Dolphins slipped to 15th in updated 2021 NFL Power Rankings. We haven't seen any games played any time recently across the NFL, but there is very much a different kind of competition going on. 
each of the league's 32 franchises and engaged in mad scramble to improve their team as much as possible. The allure of a championship is alive for all 32 teams during the offseason. As the saying goes, hope springs eternal every offseason. For some teams, the idea of a championship is a total pipe dream. For others, such as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it can be said that a championship is the expectation. For the Miami Dolphins, the truth falls in between. Miami can very easily make a leap with a young roster and a young quarterback and be a legitimate threat. But the Dolphins haven't tasted anything remotely resembling postseason success in the last 20 years. Consider them in the middle. And that's exactly where the Dolphins fall NFL.com.com s updated 2021 nfl power rankings 2. right in the thick of the field with the potential to rise with improved play from young cornerstones and a strong effort in the 2021 nfl draft miami dolphins previous rank number 12 on the surface replacing ryan fitzpatrick with jacoby brissett feels like a downgrade at backup qb but it might help the dolphins in the long run fitzmagic played well for miami but his far-reaching popularity was also a tricky fit for an organization trying to establish Tua Tungavailoa as a long-term answer under center. Brissett doesn't bring the, well, magic of his predecessor, and that should help Brian Flores refrain from the quick-trigger benchings that came to define Tua's first season. Dan Hansis, NFL.com It is a bit of a surprise to see the Dolphins drop three spots in the rankings, given the team has endured really only two major losses in Ryan Fitzpatrick and Kyle Van Noy. And Fitzpatrick was set to 2021 anyway had he returned from the free agent market. But the good news for the Dolphins is that the offseason is not over. And Miami has more ammo in the 2021 draft than everyone not named the Jaguars and Jets as things currently stand, so consider this subject to change. wide receiver addressed by the Miami Dolphins but draft is getting close. The Miami Dolphins entered the 2021 offseason with a need at wide receiver but with free agency all but in the rearview mirror, the focus now turns to the draft. As the offseason began and free agency kicked off, Miami was a top rumored destination to practically every route runner on the market. As the days ticked off, the market for receivers seemed to be non-existent, Miami did manage to make a splash late in the week. The Dolphins signed Will Fuller to a one-year deal. Miami added Robert Foster on a free agent deal and brought back Mac Hollins. The Dolphins now have 12 receivers on their roster and when the season begins in September, six will likely remain. Next up is the NFL Draft and many still believe that the Dolphins will add another receiver, possibly in the first round. The media paints the Dolphins' draft plans on a big number one receiver. Jamar Chase, Jail Devonta Smith are the top prospects often mocked to the Dolphins. The question is will they draft a receiver? Nothing the media suspects tends to come to fruition. Miami will have tough decisions to make on their roster at the position. Devontae Parker and Will Fuller both have contracts that all but 100% confirm their roster spots, things happen. It gets more gray after those two for some of the receivers. Jakeem Grant will make $4.6 million. Albert Wilson will make $5.1 million, Alan Hearns, $2.8 million, and Robert Foster will earn $1.07 million. All four could be released, even Foster whose contract is not guaranteed. Miami could also opt to restructure. The Dolphins also have the talented yet injury-prone Preston Williams. It is unlikely that the Dolphins would part ways with Williams due to his talent and his salary which is less than a million. If the Dolphins draft a receiver, one of those mentioned above, one of those mentioned above will likely be released and we still have Lynn Bowden, Mac Hollins, Kai Loxley, and Kirk Merritt to factor in. Miami could be holding on to some receivers until the draft in case they can trade one on draft day or in case they don't get the receiver they want. If Miami does draft a receiver in the first two rounds, the Dolphins roster would need a shakeup. With Fuller and Parker secured, Grant, Foster, Hearns, Wilson, and Williams will be competing for what could be only three spots on the team. Needless to say, things are going to be interesting on draft day.